For two weeks now, we've been doing this, reporting all the coronavirus cases that are positive in the state and how many people have died. But what about the number of people that have made it out on the other side of this? The people that have recovered? And as of this morning, there are some recovery numbers. The recovery are only, though, nationwide and worldwide on that level. <laughs> the, Miss the Mississippi Department of Health is not or now reporting recovered cases right now, or they're actually not, rather. However, I did call and speak with, or Morgan did call and speak with the Med Plus Clinic Tupelo, who tells her that, you know, they have seen patients recover from this virus who tested positive. Which is great news. The MedPlush Urgent Care was one of the first testing sites in our area. The director, John Logan, says that patients that tested positive two to three weeks ago have been retested and are getting negative results back. That's great news. They are no longer contagious and they are considered part of the recovered coronavirus patients. So let's take a look at the numbers. We're going to start broad, worldwide. This is a live dashboard on John Hopkins' website right now. You can go look at it for yourself. There are over 1 million cases in the world, the top left side of your screen. The U.S. is leading the globe with over 245,000 cases, followed by Italy and then Spain. Now, take a look at the right side of your screen. The number in green is the number of people that have recovered in the world. Over 200,000, so just over 2%. Now let's look at the U.S. on the left side. In the red, the numbers of the total cases in the U.S. are 245,000. But then on the right, the number of people who have recovered, over 9,000. On the statewide level, the site doesn't show a number for recovered cases. Take a look. The Mississippi State Department of Health's website doesn't show a recovered number either. But why? We need to see these recovery numbers. I've seen your Facebook messages and your posts. You're asking for these numbers. We know people are recovering, but why aren't the numbers there to show it? Well, through taking your phone calls like Morgan just mentioned and reading your emails, we know that people aren't sure what to do when they are tested positive or when they test positive and go home other than isolate. Mm -hmm. So here's what you need to do to be retested. The CDC says that you can be retested if and only if you no longer have a fever, you no longer show symptoms like shortness of breath. You also then can be retested for the virus. To be considered recovered, however, you must test negative for the virus twice, 24 hours apart. You want to assure that you're no longer able to spread the virus. That is when you get a PCR test to make sure you don't have any replicating bodies inside of your body. If that PCR comes back negative, you can assure yourself that you're no longer infectious to others. And if you are looking for a place to get tested for the coronavirus, there is a list on our website right now. So there's a lot of uncertainty, and the fear of the unknown could be crippling at times. It may seem like it's a little bit easier to cry with all of this anxiety. Right. But we can take comfort in knowing this is temporary. And we know that if we follow these guidelines together, we can at least slow the spread and get through this. It will not be forever. We will get through this and open our state back up as soon as possible and as soon as our health experts tell me it is wise 